Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial, uh, maybe the last one, I'm not sure, dedicated to the exportation of RQDA data uh, in uh, XITEC or even XILATEC or, or LATEC with the Swift package. So basically this video is uh, related to the LATEC or, or to the tech family user, I would say. So if you don't know what is uh, LaTeX, I just invite you to, to go to, to YouTube or to the internet to check what is what it's about. But basically it's just uh, like a text editor, but working in a completely different way than the traditional one, like uh, th than the traditional, I'm thinking about Microsoft Office, about LibreOffice, OpenOffice, and so on and so on. So basically uh, what we need to do is to open the RStudio uh, IDE. And after, we'll just go here and just choose a Swift document. So basically, a Swift document is uh, is uh, Swift is a LaTeX is, is a LaTeX and R package. And with this package, you can combine R language and tech language in order to export uh, to export some uh, some files so i will give you the following example so in order to go a little bit uh, faster i've already uh, copied some code and i will paste it here so this is working like this if you are a latex user you already know how is the stuff working so basically i've just made some basic uh some basic uh I've entered some basic information. So it's just an article class and I've choose the, the encoding, the package, etc., etc. So the book document begins here and I can just enter the name, author is my name, uh, date, uh, just uh, whatever, I will write nothing. Title, I will just write test and end make title. And after, this is the end document. And this is what is very uh, different is what you call a chunk. So a chunk is what you can see here. It's uh, these characters which begins here and the ending is looking like this. So basically if you want to, to enter and, and into the chunk, you have to enter the, how to say, you have to enter the, um, um, the R language. So every time when you need to enter R language, you do like this, two times like this, and then you, you close it and then you make you you enter the equals so you you follow exactly the same uh, as me here and to close the chunk is just the at symbol like if you send an email this one so just like this and inside you just write some characters so you can see here that i write the characters uh, first i will call the library i will say okay uh, in this chunk you will need to use the library the rqda library but for sure for instance if you use a mean or a max function which is a very basic function you don't need anything so let's just try a second chunk here and you will see what will happen i will enter a second chunk here and here i will say mean and i will just enter some random numbers and then i close the chunk uh, with this one and here I've got a chunk. So if it's a basic function such as mean, you don't need to call any library. But if it's a specific uh, library, you need to call the library. So that's what I did here. Check out that. I just read a uh, word library and into the parentheses, I just write RQDA. And after, this is very important, you have to call the project. So you have to say where the project is located. So basically, the project is located in that one. So I, I, I'm writing the full path and just be careful with this one. So basically Windows use that kind of characters on this side. Uh, I don't know, uh, a backslash, I think in English, uh, but you have to use it. Uh, you have to use that one. So look at the direction of the, of the, of the characters. This is very important because if you mistake, it won't work. So this is all the path of the folder. And after what I want to do is a summary codings. If you watch the previous video, you already know what is this function about. Okay, so when I've entered everything, I just compile my document. So let's compile it. I will just press on compile. 
and then I have to save it somewhere. So let's just save it on this one and on uh, this one. And I will just write a test export sweep and I just save it. And now I just need to wait a couple of seconds. And then uh, even if he says I've got an error, it's not really a mistake. It's just uh, a Windows 7 uh, stuff that makes the, this error. But basically, if you go to, to the, so just don't worry about it. If you go to these files, you see that I've got the exportation here. So maybe to make it more clear, I will just open a traditional uh, Windows uh, stuff. And I will just remove a couple of, of files because these are not related to, to the folders. And you can see that here I've got my main files, which is a PDF file. And here you see that I really got the test. This was the title. This was the author name. And this is the code I've written. So library RQDA and I've got uh, the summary codings. And here I've got the results. So I've got all the exportation of summary codings. And this is working like this for sure. Uh, it's, uh, it's nice working. And after at the end, as I told you, I have the mean function. So I've got the mean function here and I've got the result at the end. And this is very nice because you can combine the R and the, the, the LaTeX language, the tech language. Um, so for sure, here I've, I, I, I used uh, the summary coding function, but I can also use another function. Uh, for instance, I can choose the, I, I don't really know which function I wish to choose. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just choose the, the get coding table function. So instead of summary coding, I will say get coding table function. I save it and I compile again. I just need to wait a couple of seconds. And then I go back to the folder and I open it again. And here you see that I've got instead the summary codings, I get the get coding table. And for sure you can do the you, you can you can add as much feature as you want. Like you can here you can you can say get coding table and under you can say summary coding. So you can do what you want actually. And after you've got a nice export. And actually uh, what you have to know is that if I go back to the to this one, so I've got many other files that are exported. So I've got a traditional aux file and log file. So if you are a LaTeX user, you already know the meaning of that one. I will just uh, delete it because we don't really are interested in it. Here I've got the the Swift package. So basically, the name of a switch uh, Swift uh, file is .rnv or .snv. SNV is for the for the S language, because it's also working with the S language. But basically, uh, here we are using the R language. So that's why we've got that name of file. And we, if we open it, it will just open R Studio uh, with with what we've just written in it. So that's basically the, the what this file means. And after we've got the last one, because every time when we export, we've got a PDF exportation, but we've also got, we, we have also got a, uh, a text folder. So if I open it, I will see that this is uh, because I'm using, by the way, a text maker. So you you will see that you've got everything exported in a text folder. And if you wish, you can just uh, copy this this one in uh, one of your existing uh, text folder. And, and and to do it, you just need to to take the use package sweep. And after, maybe if you use MicTech, it will not work uh, at the first time. So if it's not working, you just need to to search on your on your on your on your computer. You just need to search the Swift folder, and you just need to to put it on the same folder. That's to say, here you have to add the 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 the, the folder. And, and that's quite important because with MicTech, I've got some issues about it. But whatever, uh, when, when you've got the C folder, 
then you can just again uh, make a compilation uh, uh, directly uh, using uh, your favorite text editor rather than using R Studio. So this is also one of the possibility you can use. And I really invite you to check some videos uh, on YouTube and some people are really good explaining how to, to use uh, that possibility. Another stuff I wanted to tell you is that I really invite you to check how the Swift package is working because inside you can put some information, uh, some specific information, for instance, like uh, show me only the output and don't show me uh, this. If, if you only want the output of get coding table, you can enter specific codes here. And, 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 and after you will not see these lines, uh, those lines on the output. So if you want to do it, I just, I, I won't tell you how to do it. Uh, it's very easy, but I just invite you to go by yourself to check how the Swift package is working. It's a very, very nice uh, package uh, to use uh, in order to combine uh, tech and uh, R language at the same time. Okay, so thanks a lot uh, to have watched that videos. I hope that you uh, LaTeX and XeTeX user enjoy this video. And uh, maybe if I do another video, uh, let's check the other video. Otherwise, I really would like to thank you uh, to have uh, watched my videos, especially if you watch a lot of them. So thanks a lot to, to have watched these videos. If you want to add something or comment or uh, anyway, saying something, do not hesitate once again to send me an email uh, on, me, on my address, kaliscan.metin at gmail.com, or even better, maybe just leave a comment on the YouTube wall. Thanks a lot to, to watch all these videos. Thank you.